Kate. Oh, my poor Kate. The courts, Miss Walker. We've had recourse to the courts. I was your best friend, Kate. You're dead, Kate. Dead. Kate. Miss Walker! Kate. Kate Walker. My poor Kate. Kate Walker. This time, you won't fool me with your little tricks. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it! Damn jalopy. No, oh, just great. Kate Walker, time to wake up. All is well, Kate Walker. It is all over. Thank you, Oscar. But, Canton, did you see him? See for yourself. He is just over there. Is he...? He is fine. Please don't worry. Let's just say that he won't be chasing you again for quite some time. Now we should go. Your nomad friends are ready and waiting for us. Tell me, Oscar. Last night, when I was taken, what happened? I mean, how did you find us, and how did you get me free? Hmm. It's actually a long story, Kate Walker. Kirk says we'll only get to the border tomorrow. I have lots of time. <sighs> Very well. I suppose that you can still remember the end of that strange nomad ceremony? that we would meet at the same place at dawn. I was gone. Well, at dawn then. And of course you were late. Were you worried right away? I'm touched, Oscar. Hmm. Uh, well, yes. Of course. The sun is already high in the sky and Kate Walker has not returned. 
Hmm. Incorrigible. Let's wake her before she delays the entire caravan. Someone has attacked Kate Walker. She must be found, quickly. Not see Miss Catwalk. Miss Catwalk, unfindable. Miss Catwalk, unfindable. Miss Catwalk, not see. Metal man feeling fine? No point in asking about the identity of the culprit. But Oscar, why did you go to the cemetery? No stone should be left unturned in a thorough investigation, Kate Walker. Admit it, he didn't have a clue. Huh, do you mind? So you met Dunyasha? She wasn't... surprised to see you? No. Why would she have been? B back Get out of here, foul spirit! Please excuse me and please let me explain, madam. 
I'm not an evil spirit. I am actually proud to be a latest generation automaton who is actually quite friendly. An automaton? I've heard all the stories about things like you, but I didn't know you could speak. I must say I'm somewhat different in that respect. I am actually looking for Kate Walker. She's a young brown-haired woman, slender, and, I'm afraid I must admit, she is rather clumsy. I've actually met her. I know her. Have you seen her? Not since last night, but someone has already come for her. Who was it? A Yukol? Absolutely not. A great big fat man with red hair came to see me here, a bit before dawn. Not a Bolshevik from around these parts anyway. A foreigner, some American type guy. I see. Thank you for your help, madam. What's wrong, Miss Walker? You seem to be upset. Huh? What did you say before? A young woman rather clumsy? You've got some nerve, Oscar. It was only to be expected. Any investigator worthy of the name must describe the victim as precisely as possible if the victim is to be found. Kunak muck, metal man! Kunak muck, metal man! Metal man look in New York of Miss Catawalk? Miss Catawalk not there? Ceremony must make her tired! Miss Catawalk must be in your They are blocked from the inside.
Hello, Oscar. Have you found Kate Walker? We're waiting for her so we can strike the camp. No, but I fear the worst. I found traces of a struggle in her yurt. And the young keeper in the cemetery told me about an American who came looking for her last night. An American? That must be the private detective who was following her. What do you suggest, Mr. Kirk? I'm going to ask the tribe to look for Kate Walker. The ostrich keeper will lend you a Yuki to use. It can be a great help. They have an incomparable sense of smell. Was the Yuki Kirk told you about of any use? <sighs> you really have no idea. Man, he's so funny. Powerful be the spirits with her. Hello, my young friend. I have been told the most wonderful things about your olfactory capabilities. They are blocked from the inside. greased to keep things running smoothly. You certainly know how to be helpful.
Kate Walker. I have no recollection of that, Oscar. I'm not surprised. You had apparently been drugged. It was also apparent that the private detective kept the keys to your bonds on his person. Is that when you got the idea to use the chandeliers? Oh no. That came much later, Kate Walker. At that precise moment, I developed the first draft of my plan. Seek the keys in your attacker's pocket. After all, I do not know of any problem that a gentlemanly discussion cannot resolve. In normal times, at any rate. I see. Jalopy! Excuse me, sir? Uh, yes? I'm a friend of Kate Walker's, and I believe I understand that you wish to leave with her. That's right. I have a warrant for her arrest. Not that that's something a uh, robot like you would understand. As soon as my vehicle's fixed, we're going to the States. I'm an automaton, and alas... I am unable to permit you to do such a thing, so I must ask you to please set her free and attend to any other duties you might have, and rest assured we shall do the same. Or else what, you pile of bolts? No way I'm letting her go. You got that in that rusty kettle of yours? Because of her, I've crossed half the planet, been hit by blizzards and wild animals, and she almost got me thrown in jail in Balsambor. In that case, quite regrettably, I find myself required to oblige you by force. <laughs> if that's the way you want it. You seem to be someone of rather considerable strength, sir. I do trust that you have not injured yourself. Get out of my sight! Or I change you into <laughs> a can of nails. And that's when you decided to take out Canton with the chandeliers? Patience, Kate Walker. You know that the success of that type of operation requires careful planning and method. I therefore first found myself in need of a place propitious for the implementation of a new plan. I observed that with only very slight assistance, a portion of the ceiling would collapse on your attacker. A train from the station could then open hostilities. D. QED. The ceiling would then be on the point of giving way, but it still required an essential piece. The target. Because no doubt, Mr. Canton would not dare to venture beneath such a ramshackle building without having a very good reason. So I decided I needed the right bait to attract him to the most opportune spot. required was to finalize things by demonstrating the exactness of Newton's second law. Fine. 
I believe that we should go on our way again. What? But that's it? Well, yes, Kate Walker. That doesn't make sense. When I came to, Canton was underneath the chandelier that had fallen from the ceiling. Oh, is that what is bothering you? Well, let's just say that my plan evolved as it became more concrete. Nothing that is really worth mentioning, believe me. <sighs> Come on, what is the problem now? But nothing. It's just that... I was expecting a more breathtaking ending, to be honest. Well, if this might serve as a moral to my tale, Kate Walker, the proof that a plan is indeed well designed is that it is executed without a hitch. It lets you efficiently gain what is usually lost over the course of time. You must always have a plan, you know. I... I guess so, yes. Anyway, thank you for the story, Oscar. I'm gonna sleep now. I want to be in good shape for when we get to the border. Good night. Good night, Kate Walker. That was a well-oiled plan. Let's just hope that Kate Walker will take good note of it. Impossible to enter the car, but I have to be able to start it from a distance.
There is no question of going back to that sinister town. That won't do it all. Illegible. It is nonetheless obvious that these are the controls used for starting the car. No time to lose. So that isn't the control used to start the train. Only the result has any real meaning, I guess. Time to free Kate Walker now. It doesn't work. That won't do it all. I need to have the keys to free her. He's breathing, but when he wakes up, we will be far away. Don't say I didn't warn you. Kate Walker, time to wake up. All is well, Kate Walker. It is all over. Thank you, Oscar. But, Canton, did you see him? See for yourself. He is just over there. Is he... He is fine. Please don't worry. Let's just say that he won't be chasing you again for quite some time. Now we should go. Your nomad friends are ready and waiting for us. Thank you so much, Oscar. But you're right. We have to leave here as soon as we can. Meet me at the entrance as soon as you're done. Come on, Oscar.
Thank you again for your help. I need that key that Canton has. A plan must always have a plan. 